It's Skelton with another vlog trip for you. Sorry about the delay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, yes, I'm here, and I see one person in the audience, but that's okay. I know more people are watching. Probably, maybe they're just a little bit shy. That's okay. I appreciate it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> I have to go to the dentist and the orthodontist this week. Yay, because see down here. My permanent retainer went cuckoo. <laughs> oh, but I do have a praise report. Uh, the other night, I was very upset uh, about the, uh, you know, about the change happening in my home state, and uh, I was crying, you know, kind of crying, going boo hoo. But I felt the Holy Spirit in my room, and it just gave me a great big hug. I got a great big hug from the Holy Spirit. And then I felt much better. And I thought, praise the Lord. So, um, yeah, so I felt comfort in my hour of grief. <laughs> grieving for, ooh, grieving, <laughs> grieving for uh, things. So anyway, I have, uh, this will be a fun live stream. I'm just going to share with y'all some of my favorite YouTube channels that I've been watching lately. Now these aren't, you know, I watch other YouTube channels, of course, but I can only include about 10 because... Otherwise, this show would go on forever, wouldn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me. So I had a delicious thing of Ring Tum Diddy today. Um, yes, and that was really good. Um, of course, it has a lot of cheese in it, a lot of cheese. So it kind of, you get a little bit stuck, if you know what I mean, <laughs> with all that cheese. But um, anyway, so can you all hear me okay? I think we're doing okay. So let's move on. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some of my favorite YouTubers. Um, let's see if I get my thing going on. Might have to reload this, this thing. Okay, it's working. It's working. Yay. It's working. Okay, so this is, hmm. I don't have a back button on this thing. I guess I'll go like that. Home. Okay, can I go back? All right. All right, so um, my favorite YouTube channels. So let's start with uh, one of my favorite YouTube channels. It's called It's a Southern Thing. I like this channel. I love it. It's a Southern Thing. So this is a channel that does... Uh, Y'all are skedaddling oh. through another dimension. A dimension full of oh, rockets, where everything southern. seems yeah. just That's a what I experience off. sometimes when I go up to the gym. Next up, the Cattywampus yeah. Zone. Everybody has been bringing their coats to me to get them cleaned because it was 70 degrees, you know, and now it is 30 degrees, and she has no coat to wear because it isn't clean yet. You know what I'm saying? I do. Hey, hon, we'll be with you in just a moment. Okay. You know who I saw at the store yesterday? That was my mom. Your sweet mama. Well, you know, she's got the gal. She has the gal. Okay, so they do fun videos like this. Um, they even did a video about Virginia. They do pronouncing uh, names, names across the South, um, reviews of Southern food, pig's feet, uh, pumpkin pie versus sweet potato pie. Um, let's see, they did one on Virginia. 
pronouncing names in Virginia. Let's Hello, see what class. they do. Today we yeah. will be pronouncing town names from the state of Virginia. Virginia, we're happy to include you. I've heard Virginia is for lovers, though. And for mispronouncing town names. Let's bring it. Bring it, Virginia. A R A R A. A rat. 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 What kind of rat? A rat rat. A rat rat. A rat rat. A rat rat. Oh my god, I know that one. I'm gonna fail this whole thing. Bazier. Basil. Bazier the perfume. Bazier. Bassi. Basie. Basie. It's all about that basie. No trouble. Okay, Virginia, we're getting serious. Botatar. Botatar. Tatort. Botatar. Tatort. Botatar. Botatort. Butter tarts. Botatot. Correct. Oh my gosh, that is terrible. Botatot. Yeah. Ah. That's named after Lord Lord Botatot. Y'all are skedaddling. Ah. See, they always put the trailers. Anyway, it's a southern thing. This is a great channel for all you southerners out there. I love the content. It's very original. Um, and, and of course, now they don't let me use my browser on the thing. Um, we're going to get my, my scrolling back. It won't let me scroll. Okay, well, all right, it always does that to me. So anyway, it's a southern thing. That's a great channel. That's one of my favorite YouTube channels, and I highly recommend it. Do we have anybody in the chat? I think we do. Live chat. So we've got four people in the chat. Yay! Um, so it's a southern thing is one of my top. So another channel I really love on YouTube, it's called Curiosity Incorporated. Now, this guy, um, he kind of looks a little bit like me, which is kind of weird. And uh, he's from Canada. You know how Canadian folks are so friendly? I think Canadians are like Southerners <laughs> of the North. <laughs> They're so friendly. So uh, this is a really nice, healthy, young, white couple. And they do a lot of good charity work for people. They've been featured on other news channels and news sites. Um, and they're really, I love the vibe, I like the, the uh, content. I don't know if they're Christian, but um, they sure do seem, seem like they might be Christian or Christian friendly anyway. Let's see if this person, I think they have a trailer. They usually put the trailer in the front of what they do. But I was thinking, this guy looks a little bit like me, except uh, he's not as fat. But <laughs> he looks a little bit like, like it could be my, yeah, could, could be related. Uh, so let's see what they have here. I have to go for a uh -oh. ad. No oh, Wi-Fi in laws house. I'm doing a live it's stream, YouTube. Switching time. I have to and do my live stream. It's Netflix time. Okay. Watch Netflix offline. Anyway, let's, let's look at the trailer. Switch to Chromebook. Let me wait. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures, big or small, and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife Melissa and our three kids, life is pretty full. I wish I had a family there is like that. We can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald, and this is Curiosity Inc. Okay. So what they've done recently, um, what he did recently, there's this guy named Hans, and he lost his trailer in a fire because someone set it on fire, and he was living near a honky-tonk or something. And uh, this is in Canada, so it can get it can get really cold, like in October, you know, it feels like January. So this couple, um, they're very nice, and they... Um, had a GoFundMe for Hans and they raised a lot of money so that Hans could get a new house and uh, so they do a lot of good charity work for people very nice young white couple and they're doing a lot of good things um, uh, for YouTube so this is Hans here we go this is GoFundMe. Hey guys hope you're all doing well yeah. uh, I'm just gonna adjust the camera. Very noble bit. cause if y'all can donate to Hans if okay, you want I think they have a link so in the I channel. So I thought I would do this as a live feed because um, there we go. I am starting today a GoFundMe for our friend Hans. If you recall Hans, from, him okay. from many of our other episodes, he was in uh, the Potter's House series. Uh, he helped oh, out no. the general store. He's just a really great guy. Um, last year, Hans was telling me that his house burnt down. I guess, thankfully, he wasn't injured, but he went out somewhere, uh, saw a bunch of smoke. Hans could tell the story way better, but uh, he went out, saw a bunch of smoke, ended up being his own house. He went back and his house was gone. So he owns hmm. a piece of land out in the country. His house was... I wish I had uh, super chats like that. Water. I need super chats. Uh, did not have insurance. I don't have enough stands. subscribers. So living in a fifth wheel. He's <laughs> I like his suit. That. He's happy with it, but he's got no heater power in there. Um, see, that's so that's what my live stream should look to, like. Uh, see, folks? I I that's what it should look like. Last night or the day before. <laughs> 
And uh, one of you said, why not start a GoFundMe? And so this morning I woke up and I thought, uh, why not? Why not start a GoFundMe? Now, Hans, as of this minute, has no idea that, um, that I'm going to do this Let's see what they've him. done. <laughs> and so I started it up on GoFundMe just minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to be posting the link after okay. this video is done. But essentially, I'm just trying to raise him enough money um, so that he's maybe got some yeah. some money for heat or power over the winter. It's just it's get way too cold here, especially in January. Uh, if you saw that Potter's House series, it was like minus forty Celsius or Fahrenheit. When it gets that cold, it's just cold, really yeah. cold. So so they were able. So he was able to raise a whole bunch of money for hands uh, to have a new house and a really nice house in Canada believe you me is not a cheap place to live even out in the country they have a lot of his trailer was like I don't know a lot of money you can get a trailer in Virginia for like not even half that so anyway Curiosity Incorporated is a great channel and it's nice to see someone who's into antiques who's normal if you know what I mean <laughs> because you know how some people who run antique stores are kind of Woo. <laughs> but this is a nice, uh, nice, uh, nice guy with his wife Melissa and his children. They're in an antique store, and uh, they're doing great work for Canadians. So if all you, all y'all Canadians up there, go check out this channel and uh, Americans too. It's really nice, and they've got a lot of good content, a lot of, a lot of creativity there. And uh, this guy is really. I wish that I could be as uh, an entrepreneurial, you know, have his entrepreneurship. Because he he's been uh, doing this since he was a teenager, and uh, incidentally, we are also he's the same age I am. He was born in December '78. I was born April '79. So he's the same age that I am. I should be married with three children, <laughs> you know, and have a business. Oh, what happened? Um, oh, I guess that's the breaks. I guess Hans should be not. It should not rhyme with scones. Canadians cannot pronounce the soft a. Oh, I see. Oh, that's very interesting. You have family from Canada. I'll tell you something about the Canadians. Uh, sometimes I feel like um, Canadians and Southerners are so much alike because they're very polite and they always say, excuse me. I don't know. I just feel like there's a sort of a kindred, you know, spirit with them. Anyway, that's fun. I heard about the, uh, yeah, I heard about the balloon. Oh, well, them's the breaks. You know how liberals want to... Uh, you know, it's so silly. Liberals call Donald Trump a baby. That okay? Pot meat kettle. Pot meat kettle. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. So those are a couple channels we've already discussed. Let's go back to my main screen. So how's everybody doing? Has anyone tried the Ring Tum Diddy yet? You should. And I will tell you all something. It is more. It's really more of a snack than a full meal. But you can use a snack. Also, you can add bacon. And you can put it over rice if you like to do that. That's a good good thing to do. Um, but it's a wonderful ring time ditty. It's been uh, in my family for years, and they'd always have it at you know small dinner parties, get-togethers. And uh, it's not you know it's not for trash. It's not for pecker woods. It's a really good recipe that uh, some of the you know the finest families of Richmond would eat ring time ditty. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, yay. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Yes, you're allowed to ask me a few questions if you'd like. I'm going uh, um, hold on to those questions. I'm going to two more channels and then we'll come back. We'll go back and forth for question time. OK, let's go back to the next channel that I'd like to share with you all. So um, lately I've been getting into the Myers-Briggs personality and um, I found this guy, his name is Frank James, his name is Frank James, okay? And uh, I think it might be a taken name, made up name. <laughs> but anyway, um, Frank James is a YouTuber that I found and one of the first, um, he does like the 16 personalities, like you can see the 16, 16 personalities and how they would act, it's kind of comedy, but like 16 personalities as roommates, blah, 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 different situations. And, the, and I wasn't, the, the way I found his channel was I was searching uh, for you know Myers Briggs I INFP and I got his channel first and I got the first video I saw of his was the 16 personalities camping and I I went into his channel and let's take a look at it let's take a look at his trailer and see what he's got someone's not subscribed to my channel yet or else this irritating video wouldn't be auto playing now would it but I get right. it look I myself take a long time before I hit that subscribe button on a channel. And I appreciate that you are 
like me, a discerning YouTube viewer. So let me butter you up so that you will be more likely to hit the subscribe button. Let me tell you what I'm all about. I do. I'll tell, I'll tell y'all what he's all about. So he does all these um, YouTube videos, mainly about INFJs. Now INFJs are like polar opposite of me because I'm an INFP, but he does do like Myers-Briggs. And I have to admit that I got kind of jealous because he has a huge uh, female following. And all these um, women in the comment sections comment about, oh, his appearance and blah, 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 and full of hyperbole. <laughs> and I'm like, what about me? Uh, but, uh, yeah, I have to, you know, deal with that. But um, I think it's because he's got great hair. And if you have great hair, then everyone thinks you're good looking or something. But anyway, um, let's take a look at his playlist. Um, he's got um, some good playlists going on here. Um, advice for introverts. Um, improvement, 16 personalities, impasse, uh, personality tests. Um, so he's got a lot of subscribers, 137, and he's been on YouTube for only two years. And he's got, like I said, he's got a lot of female fans. And sometimes, you know, I'm like, oh no, because, um, uh, uh, yeah, I thought, you know, if I had that hair, I'd probably have more fans than that. Um, yay. Okay, so let's take a look, take a look at a 16 personality sketch. This is I one of my favorites. I use these on all my makeup oh, no, tutorials through, on YouTube. Have to and go these through are moto brushes. Commercial. Dang it. There we go. This I know funny. this must be a stressful thing for you, having to hire someone new. So just let me know what I can do for you to make this as, as smooth as possible. Uh, your job posting was a little bit unclear, so I went ahead, I rewrote it. Uh, made it a little more streamlined, so All right. statistically. Let's, let's see what he says about INFPs, because that's 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 me. So uh, let's see. It's going to the blah 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 blah. Okay, blah blah blah. Oh, there we go. Okay, INFP. Is that it? Uh, it's a poem I wrote. Let's see. Here we go. It's a hundredfold. What's this? Uh, it's a poem I wrote about how I feel about this <laughs> job interview. Yeah. It's called Locking that's, My that's Own true. Cage from the Inside. Okay. It's, a, it's actually pretty good. Okay. It's, a, it's actually yeah. pretty good. So that's I see there's accurate. a gap in so your employment. Why the, was uh, that? Whoops. Uh, <laughs> so the thing about... Um, okay, the only thing about Frank James is kind of freaky is uh, okay he's one of those people that he just changes his haircut and he looks like an entirely different person and if i change my haircut of course i don't have you know his great hair but if i did that i would i'd still look like me but and i don't know if that's an infj thing <laughs> but if you look at like he's got a beard in one but he looks like different people see these all look like different people to me and i've never seen that before it's just kind of weird um but i guess see he looks like a different person down here when he's going into fomo and passion, blah, blah, blah. I do have to admit that Frank James' channel also, um, his earlier videos were a lot more authentic. Like, I love the toilet one with his brother. But when he got more subscribers, it's like he, he kind of got into that, that, oh, that thing where people are too self-aware and he made all those videos real slick and, you know, really highly produced. And that's kind of a shame because in his earlier videos, he was a lot more authentic and uh, personable, but in his later videos, you can see that he keeps getting slicker and slicker and almost like a self-help guru kind of person. And uh, I wish he would go back to his original format. But he also has another channel that tells people how to uh, start YouTube channels. But anyway, y'all should check out, check out Frank James' channel. Uh, he's an INFJ. He's really good. He's on the rise. He's got lots of female fans. Uh, let me show y'all one of my favorite videos from Frank James. This is called The Great Plumbing Adventures with his brother. Y'all are going to like this one. It's funny. Share all of your favorite for another no, ad. Maybe not all of them. With a little help from Google Fi. A phone plan by Google. So I just got home. Here's my, me and my bro, Tommy James. And uh, yeah. I heard a bubbling going on. And it turns out it was the toilet. Bubbling up with um, suds. So apparently there's some kind of... <laughs> Backflow issue toilet. with uh, probably someone Soapy else's uh, apartment. That's his brother. There's sudsy water is going <laughs> through my toilet. <laughs> and of course, maintenance, you know, maintenance had me leave a message. This is my They're favorite, not video. There. This is my so favorite we'll one of my I'm, favorite you videos on YouTube. You may see an obituary with me drowned in suds. <laughs> 
There's a man on the street interview. Do you have anything to say about this? Well... So that last video was interrupted by maintenance calling me. He sounded like I woke him up, like he was asleep. And he said, okay, I'll be there. So we'll see. You know, it was pretty impressive. It was like... Like a bad 80s movie with all the foam coming out of the toilet. Let's you way to make hamburgers. Make hamburgers. Get some meat. Uh, you put it in a box. Okay. I had to take out his toilet. <laughs> in the toilet. Ooh. Well, the big toilet adventure is over. Yeah. The guys left. They cleaned up. They say they don't know what happened. It was a freak accident. That was another exciting episode of Frank James. I don't know, it's 11 o'clock yeah. at night right now, so that okay. was... Okay, so anyway... Um, Someone's oops. not subscribed okay. to my channel. Yeah, we get it, we get it. So I have to tell you all something that uh, my channel's nowhere near as entertaining as that. I wish I could, could create stuff like that if I had the techniques to make something that people want to see. And he's got all these subscribers, and I can't do anything like that. <laughs> so anyway, that's the Frank James channel, and I'm going to show you all one more channel, and then we'll take some of your questions, because it is the Mead Chat, Mead Chat, Mead Fun and Chat. So um, as you all know, I'm still into, uh, here's another great channel for, um, this is another great channel for people that are into Myers-Briggs. So this girl, um, let's take a look at her trailer. She does um, movie clips and inter shows celebrities. So you know what their personality is like. So you can see them in action. Let's see what she says. Sarah. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to my channel. Isn't she pretty? Who am I? That's my wife. I'm That's my wife right there. <laughs> That's Always my wife. there for your suggestions. Always <laughs> there with new ideas. She's probably too young for Completely me. Completely in love with typology. And other people. Join me on this journey and join this community. And Make impact with your comments and your suggestions. Unicorns, lions, and sheep. No, I think she likes me. Elegant <laughs> ladies. This is my wife. Well, I, I guess Underdogs. so. Underdogs <laughs> and humans. Very pretty. Very pretty. Introverts. Very and deeply sorry for my bad English. But despite that, I think you may enjoy my content. Subscribe. I will. I mean, it's free. I love you all. Bye. Bye. Yeah. So she's got some really good videos on her channel where you can see celebrity interviews and you can see their personality types. So you can also see movies and stuff like that. All right. So let's go back to the main screen and we'll do some uh, chat. Now, I've got my water with me. So how are y'all doing? Okay. Republicans. No, they don't. Um, I have to say that, okay, um, Virginia went the way of the devil. You know, I think it's very sad that we're overrun with these sleazy Democrats. Did, did you all know that a pedophile won election? Well, I hate to say it, but, you know, a certain demographic voted for him. <laughs> but uh, I can't believe it. I just can't believe that all these creeps are running Virginia now. That's the Democrat Party. They're just full of creeps. And uh, and the Republicans did nothing about it. Oh, well. You have to laugh. It's like Virginia is the laughing stock now of the country. We have a black-faced KKK governor. We have a rapist for lieutenant governor. We have a black-faced attorney general. And now we're controlled by Democrats in the House. <laughs> Get ready for a wild ride. Got you got LG. You got your transgender. You got your Muslim. <laughs> it's like a recipe for disaster. You have to laugh because it's so funny. Uh, creep, creep. Let's see. Does any? What was the uh, Trump win help them? I'll tell you why. Because the leader of the Virginia GOP was a never Trumper. And that just was the nail in the coffin. He was a never-Trumper. The Republicans in Virginia were weak as water. They didn't do anything for the election. It's like, they're, it's like they said to Democrats, okay, here y'all go. <laughs> we're giving you the house. Here's the keys. <laughs> That's what they did. Now we have a lady as a Speaker of the House, and she's a 
well, she's not a Christian. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> what are we going to do? Virginia, we're, <laughs> we're going to be the California of the East Coast. Is that what we want? You know, people going to the bathroom in the street and all kinds of debauchery? I don't know. Uh, yay. You still want to? Oh, of course, I still want to have kids. Yeah, that's the nice thing about being a man is I can father children at any age. Uh, you know, but... But I don't know uh, when that will happen. But I know that God has a woman in mind for me. Someday, someday I will be the father of someone's children. <laughs> Yay. Oh. Trump is so thin-skinned. Uh, I don't know. Trump, Trump is not... Trump is not... Trump is the president. He doesn't run state elections. So we can't do anything about it. Now, Trump might campaign here next year. There's talk, there is talk that despite Virginia going blue, um, we might, I mean, Virginia might go for Trump next year. I mean, there is people saying, you know, it's not impossible. It's not impossible because disenfranchised voters, you know, they might have a say, but I don't know. And the way that they rig elections in Virginia, the way they gerrymandered everything in favor of Democrats, uh, it's pretty bad. But I don't want to talk politics. I'm here to talk about my favorite YouTubers. Can you all see Bunny um, behind me? Oh, Bunny, say hello. Hey, Bunny, you're on. Yeah, Bunny's listening to my latest compact disc. <laughs> Bunny! <laughs> uh, oops. Hey, my phone keeps going up. I gotta get a new phone, everybody. Uh, are you singing with the band? Yeah, I will be singing with the band pretty soon. We're gonna sing for Christmas at Chick Fil A. School is going great. I'm doing really well in my classes, and I have to write a term paper soon, but I think I'll get through it. Yay! Oops, where do we go? Uh, so we're going back to my favorite YouTube channels. So. Don't you all, would you all rather be subscribed to Frank James than me? Admit it, he's got better videos. Um, so let's go to another channel I really like, and this is called Shaggy Lux. And this has, okay, this is a great channel because it has all these wonderful videos from the mid 20th century. Like, you know, um, most of them are like educational videos. And uh, so you can watch them. So a lot of interesting videos. Uh, that I like is like going back in time. I wish we could go back to the 1950s. Let's look at a few of these. Um, this is a pretty good one. Yes, I've met some people at school that I like, but I'm not friends with them. They're not my age group. Let's skip ahead, let's see. She's gonna read a letter. She's got a baby, uh-oh. I hope it's not out of wedlock. <laughs> it's not that kind of movie, is it? I was thinking the other day of the time I asked you to marry me. Do you remember how your father was looking for his pipe while you played his favorite tune? Yep. She's playing the piano. See, there's a healthy young white couple. That's what we need more white babies. It's probably why I couldn't find it. I like these old movies. You know these little short clips? The acting is so much better than anything in Hollywood today. I have to tell you. I think he's going to ask her to marry him. I'm going to ask you something. If the answer is yes, just keep on playing. If the answer is no, stop. Yes, Stephen. I've been thinking, maybe you've noticed. Well, in any case, it occurred to me that... Ellen, will you marry me? Yeah, that's how it's done, folks. We need peop young people need to get married or we're gonna run out of white people. <laughs> Yay! So, anyway, this channel has lots of great... Great. Um, let me show you all another video I like. I won't go for the whole thing, but um, another video I like, um, it's from the mid-50s. Um, 
They have a lot of good, you know, a lot of good morals in here. Don't you wish we could go back to that time when, when our country was, you know, Christian and had morals and, and frowned on degeneracy. And then after 1965, our country just went down like that, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, where is it? Oh, I think it's called Habit, Habit Patterns. So this is a really good, good video. It's sort of like Hillary Clinton, the early years. Can y'all hear it okay? It's a little late for tears, isn't it, Barbara? Apparently. Even though you didn't know it was going to happen today, you've still had your whole life to prepare for it. Of course, you've gotten into the habit of not being prepared. That's me. And I'm now it's a little late, isn't it? <laughs> I need a schedule. You're a creature of habit, Barbara. We all are. Unfortunately, not all of your habits are good ones. This was how your day started. Yep. Started wrong. That's me. No, your mother was up. Had been for an hour. Barbara! Barbara, get up! You'll be late for school! Get up, Barbara! Does she have to do this every morning, Barbara? Barbara, do you hear me? If your mother stopped acting like a second alarm clock for even one day, you'd probably think it was a dirty... Pete's sake, I hear you! I'm up! <laughs> you didn't... Well, anyway, that's um, that's one of my favorite favorite uh, educational films. I love that one. There's another one I really like, and it's called The Snob. Have you all seen that one? The Snob. It's for 1958. Phone you love. Oh, no. Well, the real phone you love. Old Time TV. This is another Google good channel. Old Time TV. Google. They have a lot of great educational films as well. Take a moment. To unwrap Yay. and unwind. Nope. Here we go. What? I like the old music. <laughs> Better than that hippity hop jungle child. <laughs> Jigaboo. <laughs> Jigaboo. <laughs> Yes. See, look at all those nice young people. No tattoos. No long hair. No freaks. No, no funny colored hair. And she's doing her studies like young people should do. Of course, all the people in this look 35. <laughs> See, she's the snob. Let's see what, let's go to the highlights of this. Hey, and Master made secretary. Chad yeah, Jerry made vice president. Yeah. Chris and oh, Bill Tyler. Oh, That's oh, great. Bill Tyler. Hey, Bill made president. This is the way school should look. Not full of, uh, you know, crazy foreigners. <laughs> for the election for next year's student council officer. <laughs> Bill Tyler made president. Hey, let's go. Oh, sure. Okay. I'll see. I suppose you don't think Bill's the best man for the job? Hmm. Best man in the job. Oh, that girl. Uh, she's just sore because we picked Bill's design for the yearbook cover instead of hers. Let's go to class. Uh, Kids that get by on apple polishing will be there too. Oh, she's angry. Like she's angry. She's a Hillary Clinton in the making. I'm sorry you don't like so many people. Friends are important in this world. You should encourage others to make good and not dislike them for it. That's true. I think maybe your mother's right. This is good advice. It's timeless advice, folks. Pay attention. Try to like people for whatever they are. Yes. 
That's all the dishes. I can clean out the sink. <laughs> okay, Pumpkin. Just one more question. All these people you don't like, aren't they happier than you are? She's going to turn into a feminist. Oh, no. <laughs> aren't they happier than you are? Aren't they happier than you are? Let's take a look at the end. Oh, I got an ad. Like and this, with a little help from Google Fi, a phone It's always, Google. you know, a multicultural ad. Take a moment uh, to unwind. Another ad. Oh, with God. Lindor, a milk chocolate shop. Here we go. What's the matter? Can I do anything? No. Oh, John, they're so mean and hateful. They don't understand anybody who is one of their gang. It doesn't do all the silly things. The snob, hurting the snob. everyone, herself, her parents, her friends, other people. What makes Sarah act the way she does? Is it a cover-up for Maybe some lack she feels in herself? <laughs> Can a friend like Ron help her in any way? Is the group justified in judging everything Sarah does as snobbery? What do you think? It's a great, great movie, isn't it? And that teaches a lot, you know. You don't want to be a snob. <laughs> so many people today, you know, have their noses up in the air. It's just funny. Covering Southern food, yes. Um, no layoff. Really. Okay. So thank you all for watching tonight. Is everyone having a good time? Have you thought about looking at some of these channels? What put put in your um, put in the chat what your favorite YouTube channels are? I know a lot of people like PewDiePie, PewDiePie, but um, I'm trying. I'm showing channels that aren't you know they aren't really mainstream. They're just channels that I like myself. Um, so here's another channel we got. So another channel I like. This guy does country music reviews. And he's also from Virginia. So, uh, let's see. Best Guilty Pleasure songs. Brady Smith, that's his name. There's some country music that is just straight up bad. It's just yeah. terrible, terrible, terrible songs. I derive no pleasure from a thing like Corn Star. She's a corn star. Or a song like Truck Yeah. What about Sweet Tea? He hasn't heard Sweet Tea. Or a song like Donkey. That donkey donkey down to the honky tonky is These are atrocities that we wish we could forget, but we can't. They're blazed in our minds for forever. But then there's another category of songs that I'd call guilty pleasures, which are songs guilty that pleasures. we like even if we wouldn't admit I want to be like Sweet Tea. All the time. Won't mention and sweet why tea. would you feel guilty about liking a country song? I think three reasons. One, it's really, really poppy. Hi, I'm Poppy. Yeah, I think that was the main factor as I thought about this video of what makes me feel guilty is just something that sounds super, super pop. The second would be that they're stupid. They have a dumb lyric or a cringy subject and you wish you weren't laughing, but much like your dad at the Thanksgiving table, you just end up chuckling when he makes a dad joke. Come on in, son, the water's warm, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm kidding. If you be in the pool, you're grounded. And the third would be that it's a song from an artist that you otherwise don't like, and so you feel bad liking this one song, even if you hate the whole rest of their catalog. So I put together my list of my top 10 guilty okay. pleasure country songs, and I asked you guys on Instagram yeah. for some input. Okay, so he's got really good, this guy, Grady Smith, just really good channel about country music, um, all kinds of country music reviews, and uh, you know, the current state of country music, which isn't too great. Um, and, you know, all kinds of other things. So let's see what it says. It says, uh, uh, Grady, cover country music, uh, country pop, and uh, entertainment. He's written for Entertainment Weekly, The Guardian, Taste of Country, Rolling Stone. So, yeah, this is a great channel. Check out Grady Smith, his country music review channel, and uh, OK Boomer, Old Country Fans versus Young Country Fans. 
Yeah. See, I'm not okay. The boomer, the boomer thing is so ridiculous because I'm not a boomer, and I don't care what the meme says. A baby boomer is someone born between 1946 and 1964. So I am a late Gen Xer. I was born almost in 1980. So I'm not a boomer, and uh, that's final. <laughs> but speaking of boomers, um, do you give him as much crap as you can give me? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm going to be looking at uh, everyone's suggestions. Speaking of boomers, this guy, Nick Fuentes, is a really good up-and-coming politico. Now, I don't agree with everything he says. Like, he's really hung up on the Jews and Israel and stuff. But he's got a lot of interesting videos. Um, let's see what he says. So, a lot of it is pretty funny. Um, I'm trying to find one that isn't too long. But um, Nick Fuentes on the LGBT. <laughs> Nick Fuentes on white privilege. So he's got a lot. He was kicked out of a conservative news conference recently by some neocons. You know, talk about your boomers and neocons. Uh, so nationalism worldwide. Nick Fuentes on journalists. The Griff Nick Fuentes on abortion. So Nick is pretty funny, um, but he's only in his early 20s, but he's really wise beyond his years. I have to admit, when I first saw him, I thought he was really old. <laughs> I thought he was close to my age, because he does look like he's in his late 30s, but I couldn't believe he was only 20, 21. Um, so I just think um, he's got a lot of, this is the Nick Fuentes channel. Now, he also has his own channel called America First, and he does a really great live stream. Um, let's see. Nick Fuentes on gym cells. This should be pretty good. Aaron says, made money on predicted tangentially thanks to you. Here's a bid in return. Viewers read Kaczynski, Moldbug, Wanan, Spengler. Start powerlifting. Everybody's just really trying my patience tonight. Everybody's just really... Well, thanks for the, uh, well, thank you for the contribution here, but this, uh, all capital, read Kaczynski, read Moldbug, start powerlifting, uh, duh, duh, uh, duh, uh, duh, read, <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know, big guy, powerlifting, why? What is this powerlifting thing, this reading books, powerlifting, to what end? To what end? You're working a wage job, you're working a wage job, bro, you're working a wage job. You know, Nibba's be in their cubicle. Nibba's be in their cubicle, hulking over their desk like Mr. Incredible, reading Spengler. <laughs> and their boss, and their boss, who's a transsexual, comes by and is like, and is like hey, man. <laughs> hey, man, get back to work. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Closes book, goes back to, I don't know, you know, selling widgets. So I don't know. I'm, I'm always a little bit on. Uh, the self-improvement thing to me is a little bit cringe, though. It's all capital. Duh! Read books! Sir Powerlifting Man! It's like, so what? You can become the biggest, strongest wagey in the, in the fucking cubicle farm? Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, Mr. Incredible, hulking up. Okay. So every now and then he, he kind of uses some language, but actually he's very perceptive. Very perceptive. I like his style, and I think he's going to go places. Nick Fuentes is definitely a force to be reckoned with in the paleoconservative movement. Now, a lot of people are saying that Nick Fuentes is alt-right, alt-right. No, he's not alt-right. Um, in fact, he's had quite a bit of disagreement with Richard Spencer. And by the way, I can't stand Richard Spencer. So um, I think he's doing great, a great job on... Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, exposing the neocons, you know, shills for Israel, neocons, wars for Israel. Uh, so that's Nick Fuentes clips, Nick Fuentes channel. Um, so let's see, these are some other channels. I probably have watched these cause it's in my, my history, you know, um, yep. Yeah, oh, so I like to watch, um, all kinds of old, old videos and things like that. Um, there's one more channel I want to share with everybody. It's a new channel, I think. Um, old Time TV. No, actually, this is not a new channel, but Old Time TV um, has a lot of interesting... Yes, yeah, so Old Time TV has a lot of uh, interesting videos from the past. You can see now some of these are modern videos from the 70s and 80s. Um, young Man on the Go... Uh, the Wonder of Water, <laughs> A Day of Thanksgiving. It's getting close to Thanksgiving. Let's see. See what this says. That's back when people had morals, you know, decency.
No, I don't watch any degeneracy. I'm sorry, I don't watch TV anymore. YouTube is my TV. YouTube is my new thing. I haven't watched TV in two years. I'm Bill Johnson. Around here, they just call me Dad. I've been trying to read, but I just can't seem to do it. Thanksgiving Day. We Johnsons had a Thanksgiving, Oops. the best we've ever had. And I can't help thinking that what made it better was a feeling, a real feeling of thankfulness. Right. And that's odd, too, when you consider the shape yeah. things were in when I got I'm home I'm thankful that yesterday. Donald Trump is our president. I bet they would be My thankful, kids, too. Dick and Tommy and Susan <laughs> were all home from school. 1951, course, Donald Trump was just a little there. boy. Imagine that. He was just will. a little boy. Mine we're living tomorrow, right along with today, looking forward to Thanksgiving. And like most men, I'm glad it was Mother instead of me who had to break the news to them. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Mmm, turkey and dressing and pie and cake. And fruit salad and whipped cream and cranberries. Gee, I can hardly wait. Me too. <laughs> well, you know, children, we've had a lot of expenses this month, and, well, your father and I thought that... Well, the truth of the matter is, there just won't be any turkey oh, this no. year. Oh, no. No turkey for Thanksgiving? No turkey. Oh, I'm going to make a pumpkin pie. We'll have plenty to eat, but, well, we'll just have to get along without turkey. Mom, you don't mean it. It won't be Thanksgiving at all. Even the pilgrims had a feast. After all, isn't that what Thanksgiving's for? I don't think it's fair. And it was right there that I came in, right in the thick of it. Hello, everybody. Hi, Paul. Hello, Mother, Hi. Dick, Susan. He calls his wife Mother. Well, what's been going on around here? <laughs> what's the matter with everybody, anyway? Mom says we're not going to have any Thanksgiving. No turkey, no good thing. A fat lot we're going to have to be thankful for. Oh, I don't think you kids really mean that. Right. We do, too. We've always had turkey These kids need to be more grateful. Yes, everybody else in the block's going to have They sound like liberals. <laughs> yes, we've Those are Democrat had kids. Just as a lot of Americans have had it, and we'll keep on having it. Turkey on Thanksgiving is a great American tradition. But what you kids are saying makes it sound as if the turkey is the only thing we had to be thankful for. Right. Well, no, Dad. It's not that at all. Oh, I know, Dick. With turkey, it's easy to lose sight of what Thanksgiving really right. means. And don't think we're just making excuses because we don't have any turkey this year. We, well, we know it'll mean a lot more to us the next time we do have it. Well, sure. Suppose we don't have a bang-up feast. We're still a lot better off than the pilgrims. That's it, Dick. Now, do you other kids see what Dick's trying to say? Turkey or no turkey, we've still got all right. the freedoms and privileges the pilgrims gave us. Let's go to the end. Let's that see what they say That lets me choose the, the kind of work I like and can do best. Taking a sluggish motor and making it hum. Oh, I'm going to get an ad, of course, for, for chocolate. Lint <laughs> excellence. Uh, with they must think I'm a woman. Again. I'm not a woman. Makes okay. me feel that somebody <laughs> got to his work or wherever he had to go just because of me. And feeling like that gives me a lot of satisfaction. I don't think I'll do a Christmas special and this I'm year, but I will do a Christmas live stream. Just a few cents worth of printer's ink and paper, but more valuable than any amount of money. Because in it, the editor's got the privilege of printing what he thinks. And I've got the privilege of agreeing with him or not. I have to get more money to, uh, for the, uh, However, the facts on. strike me. Let's see, let's see, let's end this quick. Right and here. both of us, the editor and I, have the right to act on our opinions on election day. Election day. Oh. The I bet he wasn't in. a, you know, socialist. And no finally, commies then. I'm thankful for being able to yes. believe, in spite of everything, that somehow, some way, the unity we've got here in the Johnson family will someday spread to men and nations throughout the world. For all these things, we are truly and humbly thankful. Amen. Amen. A nice white family gathering around for Thanksgiving, the feast of our forefathers. Yay! Okay.
So uh, I hope you all enjoyed uh, some of my selections. Those are just a little bit, but I didn't want to go too long. But those are some of my selections from my favorite YouTube, YouTube channels, my favorite videos on YouTube. Let's go for some of the comments and see if you all have any questions. Um, when are you doing a music video for from the outside looking in? Uh, well, I did one kind of, but um, I just don't have the budget right now. So probably not not for a while. Maybe another year from now I might have some money, but um, right now I'm going to focus on songwriting. Uh, and on my YouTube channel, I'll try to do some more videos for some other songs. I want to do a video for Lord, Lord Get Me to Church and Insomnia Over You. But uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to work on that. So I already, uh, why is he wearing a holocaust suit while working on the car? My bad, all is well now, make me the star. Uh, Thanksgiving for me will be with my family. And no, I will not run for public office. I think it's too much of a headache. Although it'd be fun, I could be the singing politician. <laughs> Yay! Uh, singing politician, we need more of that. Wouldn't it be fun if Trump broke into song at one of his rallies? I think he, I think Trump would make a great rock star, country singer. He has the charisma. Yay! Oh, I don't have socialist money. Um, I just I you know I do have a job and I'm going to school. And I'm doing pretty well in school, and uh, for me, like right now, I'm I'm at the end of young adulthood. Right now, I'm going in towards middle age, and I just thought this is a great time to. Go back to school, finish what I started years ago, and hopefully, um, hopefully I'll do well. Hey, let's do a song. I um, uh, hope this works. Let's see if I can do it. Um, documents. So I'm going to try to do a song for everybody. And, uh, yay. Yeah. <laughs> let's see if we can do it. I thought we were going to do this song. Okay, we ready? Uh, so anyway, folks, um, thank you all for tuning in tonight, and I uh, hope everybody's enjoying themselves. Uh, this is just sort of a, you know, wonderful live stream for you. <laughs> hey, do you all think I should grow a beard? Press one for yes and two for no. Should I, be, should I grow some beard? Would that, would that make me popular with the ladies, women folk, if I grew a beard? It would cover some of my fat on my face, although I have to learn, lose, lose some more of that, but... Maybe that would be a good idea for me to grow a beard. <laughs> yeah. Um, I drew one night. Let's see if I can get this going. Um, one, so that means you think I should grow a beard? Okay. A beard with no mustache? That would look kind of weird. Oh, my teeth look white. I use, um, yes, nice and white. <laughs> That's key. Um, I use, uh, uh, um, Crest whitening, you know, crest whitening toothpaste, and it just it, it really keeps my teeth nice and sparkling white. <laughs> I shouldn't grow a beard. Okay, it was nice of you to wipe the. Oh, that's disgusting. Um, okay, I want to clarify that um, <laughs> my glasses. Um, I didn't have anything on my glasses. That was that was fog. Okay, that's really gross. Maybe a mullet. Okay, I wish I had better hair, hair though. Um, yeah. Mustaches. Oh, thank you, Louise. I might grow a mustache sometime in the future, but um, I don't know. I, I feel like uh, my father always said that beards and mustaches were for commies, so I don't know if I should grow one. And also, I think that the fad, uh, the trend of uh, facial hair is going uh, away, because a lot of people don't want facial hair. They want to look, you know, smooth. But every, um, I, I can't, it takes me a while to grow uh, facial hair. I don't know if it's because I'm nat part Native American, so I have trouble growing facial hair. Um, a lot of times, oftentimes I do. So, um, with that being said, we've got a few more minutes left. We sing a song. Yeah, uh, I'll do, I'll do something for you. It's like your troubles, maybe. Last time. Yeah. Oh, you, the good Lord bless and keep you. Yeah, we'll try that one. Let me see if I've got another song also, though, um, that I was going to do. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that will work. 
um, instrumentals <clears throat> because he lives. Uh, let's see. Beards are for commies. Let's do this song. I'll try to do this song for y'all. And uh, let's see if we can get it going. Uh, yeah, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So this is a song that I think will work. It's called Christmas. I had to escape. The city was sticky and cruel. Maybe I should have called you first, but I was dying to get to you. I was dreaming while I drove the long straight road ahead, uh -huh, yeah. Good taste, your sweet kisses, your arms open wide. This fever for you was just burning me up inside. I drove all night to get to you. Is that all right? I drove all night, crept in your room, woke you from your sleep, just to see you, is that all right? I drove all night, what in this world keeps us from falling apart? No matter where I go, I hear the beating of our one heart. I think about you when the night is cold and dark, uh -huh, yeah. No one can move me the way that you do. Nothing erases this feeling between me and you. I drove all night to get to you. Is that all right? I drove all night, crept in your room, woke you from your sleep to make love to you. Is that all right? I drove all night. song for you that was by uh whoa what is it called that's called drove all night by roy orbison and um it's a uh, hey 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 no doubt you're a millennial why is cool being named beards are for commies something like that blah 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 okay so thank you all for watching tonight um, let me see. Am I, in, I think I'm in voice. So I want to appreciate. Uh, so go check out all these following channels. I'm going to read them here. So listen up. Okay, listen up, folks. Write this down. It's a Southern Thing. Curiosity Incorporated. Frank James. 
Uh, Sarah MBTI. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Above and Beyond Christian Counseling. That's the channel I forgot to show. Let's show you all that real quick. I got to show you all this channel because this has helped me when I get really depressed. So it's called Above, uh, Above and Beyond Christian Counseling. And they have a great channel here. So some of these videos are really helpful. Okay, I'm going to go to their, um, let's see, Spirit of Fantasy. This video really helped me, folks. This is a very important video that you should watch. I'll just play a little bit of it. Hi, this is Phyllis Tarbox with Above and Beyond Christian Counseling. And I have another question for you today. Is the spirit of fantasy distorting your reality? Yes. Fantasy. Did you grow up watching... Julia Roberts movies, reading romance novels. No. Or maybe you escaped in a fantasy world to avoid your childhood. Yes, that I did. Fantasy is not always a sign of a healthy imagination. True, that is so true. It can all, often be a hiding place right. that the enemy will use to develop Fantasy, yes. and depression. It will keep you from discerning visions from God right. because you are too confused with fantasy. I grew up like that. It got so exaggerated as an adult that when God started to show me his plans for my future, I couldn't discern the truth from the fantasy. And that's true. That's what happens. Um, Welcome to get, the YouTube. Yeah, when you get too much into fantasy world. So anyway, um, they have really helpful videos on this channel. Um, it's really helpful um, videos for people. So Christian counseling with the, you know, psychological counseling with the Christian perspective talks about demons, talks about demonic, you know, demons that impersonate people and um, give cause trouble in your personality. You know, sometimes people really do have um, multiple personalities, but sometimes it's a demon. And it shows you how you can recognize uh, so here's her playlist. They got deliverance ministry, cr Christian counseling, spiritual warfare. Now that's a big biggie, uh, deliverance ministry. So anyway, folks, I hope you all check that one out. I think that's the last one. I mentioned uh, Shaggy Locks, Grady Smith, and uh, Nick Fuentes clips. Yeah. So okay, Nick Fuentes clips and old time TV. So okay, folks. Let me get in voice. Here we go. May the good Lord bless and keep you, whether near or far away. May you find that long-awaited golden day today. May your troubles all be small ones, and your fortune ten times ten. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. May you walk with sunlight shining and a bluebird in every tree. May there be a silver lining back of every cloud you see. Fill your dreams with sweet tomorrows, never mind what might have been. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet, till we meet again. All right. Thank you all so much for watching a Meet Skelton live stream and spread the word. If you can spread the word about my channel, um, tell them about my website and meetskeltonsplace.com. Uh, do I have that in here? I should have the website. Let's see. I'll type about that. Whoa! Meetskeltonsplace.com. Uh, so if you go to meetskeltonsplace.com, you can find all about yours truly. Here we are, singer-songwriter Meet Skelton. Uh, okay, ooh, blocking my face. Yeah, so you can see I got my bio here and uh, everything else right up here. Singer, songwriter, meets Skelton. So go to that website and uh, where's the homepage? Homepage right here. Okay, so so make sure you go to that website 
and uh, say hello, you know, plug my channel, and I'll plug yours if you have a channel. If you have a YouTube channel, write in the chat, and I'll make sure that everyone sees it so they can go to your channel. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. I'm Ian Skelton. Till next time, God bless you. Bye.